want to congratulate you, Evan Smith, for making it here to finals at NITOP. People come from all over the world to taste its goodness. They stand in line on opening day for hours just waiting for the doors to open. Some people have even been known to have a picture of it tattooed on their body. What is this crazy phenomenon? in and out <laughs> in and out is a successful company because of its traditional views. We see this in the history, its unique ideas, and the impact it has on the company. In-N-Out opened its first store on October 22, 1948, in Baldwin Park, Southern California. Terry and Esther Snyder, the founders, were newlyweds ready for an adventure. They became a double-double couple. <laughs> Together, they created a new and efficient perspective to the fast food world. Harry created the first two-way speaker, letting customers stay in their car when ordering. In-N-Out was also the first fast food drive through in California. From the start, the couple valued fresh products and customer service as their highest quality. One of In-N-Out's favorite mottos is, quality you can taste, and they still follow this by providing the highest quality ingredients for a fast food chain. When going to In-N-Out, one of the first things that you will see are the cross palm trees. Harry's favorite movie was called It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. In this movie, a group of people are looking for a treasure. They find this treasure underneath two palm trees crossed in an X. This movie inspired Harry to put palm trees in front of his treasure. In and out burger. <laughs> the couple passed the company to their youngest son, Rich, in 1976. Rich, unlike his father, wanted to expand and beef up the company, and he did. By 1992, In-N-Out celebrated their 80th store. Rich was devoted to keeping the store the same. However, he did add a few small changes that are only visible if you know where to look. If you take a look at the bottom of these four items, you will see Bible verses. This was created when Rich, a devoted Christian, became president. In 1993, tragedy struck. Rich, at the age of 41, died in a plane crash. This devastated the company. The title was, the title was passed to Rich's brother, Guy Snyder. Having a drug addiction, Guy died six years later of an overdose. The title was passed to different owners over the next several years until it finally landed on the only living heir. Guy's daughter, 24-year-old Lindsay Snyder. Since then, the number of stores has grown to 329, located in six western states. A small drive through restaurant in 1948 has turned into a major competitor in the fast food world. I was so excited when my town finally got an In-N-Out burger. Now, of course I had to apply there and was hired last May. <laughs> when interviewed, the managers looked for confidence, a cheerful attitude, and a willingness to learn. Most of all, they would tell you that the customer is the number one priority in our store. It is often wondered why the company isn't publicly owned, why their stock isn't publicly traded, and why they don't franchise. in and out thinks the exclusivity of their store is important to make people want to come back for more. Also, to franchise would mean to give people ownership and influence over the standards of the company, disrupting the tradition of a family-owned chain. Lindsay Snyder says she has a strong tie to keep the company the way her family wanted it. However, to franchise would only lower these standards. in and out offers many benefits to the associates. Every time I work a shift, I get a free meal. <laughs> Last year, in and out rented a fairground for a huge party for the Western stores, complete with rides and an unlimited amount of churros. The company also pays significantly higher than the minimum wage. Now I have this beautiful Mustang for my first car, paid completely by what I earned at In-N-Out Burger. In-N-Out's menu is fairly small. You can get your choice of a burger, fries, a soft drink, or a shake made with real ice cream. 
The newest item, item to our menu is hot cocoa, made with Ghirardelli chocolate, which, by the way, is free to children 12 or under on a rainy day. While our menu is small, we have something a lot of fast food restaurants don't have, and that is the secret menu. Or not so secret menu. The secret menu is just modifying your meal, creating a larger menu because you can modify it in a lot of different ways. So what's on it? Some of the more popular items consist of Neapolitan shakes, well done fries, which are cooked two minutes longer. A huge favorite is protein style, no bun, wrapped in lettuce. There's also veggie burgers. Now, there's no burger on the veggie burger. It's simply a bun with lettuce, tomato, and onions. We can also offer a Flying Dutchman. Now, a Flying Dutchman is compiled of two meat patties with two slices of melted cheese in the middle. However, by far the most popular item of the secret menu is animal style. The history of animal style originated, at, originated in the first store in the 60s. The story goes that a group of rowdy surfer teens hung out in the parking lot. The employees called them animals. One night, an animal saw an employee making a non-traditional burger, where he fried the burger in mustard, adding pickles and grilled onions to it. The animal asked the employee, what's that? The employee said, just ask for an animal burger and we'll know what you mean. You also can get your fries done in a similar fashion. In-N-Out loves to serve any customer that walks through their doors. People rave about their food, customer service, and efficiency. Market Force Information recently conducted a study revealing America's favorite quick service restaurant. In-N-Out in dominates all customer experience categories, including value, food quality, staff friendliness, and cleanliness. Even my dog Lexi loves In-N-Out. <laughs> Over the years, In-N-Out has grown in size. Slowly, but steadily. The drive from this comes from the current owner, Lindsay Snyder. Last year, on an interview, she said that Guy, her father, was her biggest inspiration. It was around five or six when she realized they were taking trips to a rehab facility for her dad's painkiller drug addiction. One, way. One day, when Lindsay was on her way to school, her dad called her. She rushed her dad while talking to him on the phone and hung up. This was the last time she ever talked to her dad. He had died of an overdose of drugs, breaking Lindsay's life in half. To relieve her loneliness, Lindsay married her boyfriend at age 18. She knew it wasn't the right time to marry, but didn't want to give the relationship. She paid the price in a divorce. Two more times she married to relieve her loneliness both leading to a divorce. She knew she had to let go and let God fill the void that was so evident in her life. She took some time away. She said this time was the best time she ever spent with God. Lindsay Snyder is now happily married and is the president of In-N-Out Burger. Because of her difficult life and broken relationships, Lindsay makes sure that her company gives back to the community. Because of her dad's addiction to drugs, Lindsay pours into those who struggle with substance abuse. She also has other fundraisers to support victims of human trafficking and helping children through domestic abuse. All of these organizations have thrived under the giving of the customer, which leads me to the most important aspect of my speech. What makes in and out thrive beyond the employees and the company standards? And that is... You, as the customer, keeps In-N-Out on its feet. In-N-Out's golden rule is this. The customer is always right. If by chance the customer makes a mistake, refer to the first rule. Now, please don't take advantage of this. People have done before. However, this keeps you as the customer happy, but also keeps us running efficiently. In-N-Out started small but grew because of its simplicity and quality. Its uniqueness has improved through the secret menu and popularity, and has impacted the surrounding community and world. None of this would have happened without God's direction in the lives of the Snyder family. The great suffering they had to endure built on the company to become great. An article by Eater, Los Angeles, said that In-N-Out is the greatest road trip burger. They said it's like a bright, shiny beacon of cleanliness and friendliness. And that is exactly what it is.
Thank you. Your time was 9.37.